I will be discussing self-image and identity in regards to digital citizenship. This presentation is for educators and parents to help talk to and prepare their students and children from around second to third grade on up through high school and even for adults to become good digital citizens with excellent knowledge of their self-image and their own personal identity in regards to being on and offline. I will be discussing self-image and identity in regards to digital citizenship. This presentation is for educators and parents to help talk to and prepare their students and children from around second to third grade on up through high school and even for adults to become good digital citizens with excellent knowledge of their self-image and their own personal identity in regards to being on and offline. Digital citizenship, the quality of habits, actions, and consumption patterns that impact the ecology of digital content and communities. Being a digital citizen means that you are a part of a group of people that use technology to communicate. There are rules and guidelines that are important to follow to protect yourself and others while using these sorts of technology and social media. This image is a great one for students to show the positive ways of being a good digital citizen with some examples such as how to use personal devices for educational purposes only, how to be sure you're listening to your gut and making sure things are safe and appropriate when you're online. Also to protect private information such as passwords or long login information. Also to listen to their heart and respect themselves and respect other people um, when interacting online. Also to stand up for themselves and others if they see any cyberbullying going on. The biggest words in this image clearly are identity, also digital and information, internet. If you look at all the smaller words, it's all the other layers that get built up with everything we look at on the internet, everything we interact with on the internet, um, things we're researching, who we're communicating with, what music we're listening to. So if you look at all the smaller words, it's all those pieces and how they fit together to show people your online identity or so what comes across when you put everything out there. Self-image is important, and not always in a narcissistic way. It is how we define ourselves and present for others to see. We rely on others' perceptions, judgments, and appraisals to develop our social self. I think this quote is very powerful, and I feel like in the day and age of technology, self-image is in so way reflected by outside sources and the feedback that children and adults get from the outside digital world, but it's really important for people to develop their own self-image and to know what they feel about themselves and how they want to be perceived. One of the most important things we can teach our students and our children is about identity, and this includes what kind of creations you make, what choices you make, values, beliefs, your appearance, your ethnicity, your practices and habits, your work or hobbies, friends and family, interests, objects and possessions. Those all make up who you are. But what the most important part is how you present yourself to the world and how you treat people. And if you don't feel comfortable doing something face-to-face -face with people, you should not be saying or doing those things online 
just because there's a digital veil between you and a lot of the rest of the technology world. So it's really important that students and people realize that who they are offline should be the same as who they are online because there can be many problems associated with hiding who you really are, or altering who you're trying to be. Students need to understand the difference between their online versus their offline identity. When a student is online, they should be presenting themselves in a way that is positive and that is real to who they really are. Their self-image and identity should be realistic to who they are as a person in the real world, not just the digital world. Students also need to learn the risks and benefits of being a digital citizen and how the way that they present themselves online can have effects on their reputation, their self-worth, and their relationships. Students also need to understand how the internet allows for them to be more anonymous, which can lead them to deceptions. And sometimes they need to consider the benefits, motivations, and possible problems that can arise when they are presenting themselves in a way where they think they are hidden and really... There are many resources online, some are interactive, that give students projects and lessons that help them think about being a good digital citizen, helps them think about their own self-image online and offline, and of their identity online and offline. It also talks about dangers and proper techniques for interacting with people online. So these are really important tools, I think starting in about third grade, on up for kids to be aware of these things in order to use technology in a positive, fulfilling way, in a way that's not dangerous or detrimental to their reputations or their lives.